Hello Little Charlie. So we have more updates on I guess the stables but not really. There's Jeffy eating about to tip over her bucket. We are actually changing things up a bit and because the stables are at a pretty good stage where they're not actually stables it's just like a run-in shed so it's just a shelter for them which is the main thing we wanted for the winter pretty much because we don't need to lock them in there. So the next thing we are working on which I'm really excited about and I wanted to get this done before we kept going with the stables is my new tack shed. So I'm going to take you guys down. So if you've watched my previous videos on how the stables are going and everything you would have known that I was saying the tack shed is going that this old chicken coop that we don't use because we use a different one is going to be a tack shed so that's what we're doing today here's the little whale eating his hay another little whale eating his grass <laughs> say hi dad hi dad oh. <laughs> the first thing we're doing with the old chicken coop is taking the roof off as you can see the roof is already started coming off because it is quite a low roof so we are making the roof a bit higher and then we will go into doing everything else but that's oh I just stepped in horse poo hi Kyle, hi Kyle. <laughs> but yeah so the first thing we're doing is taking the roof off So this is the front area, it's just full of weeds. It's just full of weeds because all horses don't come in here so it never really... They hurt. What do you get? Oh I know they're so spiky, they're so evil. So yeah, we cleared this out like two months ago with the weeds but they're all back. But we're not worrying about them at the moment because we're going to poison all the weeds and pave this area as well as obviously paving the floor in here because this is the floor at the moment in here there's a lot of materials but this is it and it goes down here but as you can see the roof is right here and you can deal with my ugly face I literally hit my head I don't know why they made it like I understand because it was a chicken coop but you would think they'd want to make it a bit higher but then you come around the corner and that's what it looks like here. I'm gonna hit my head on a beam. And then this area in here, which is dirty and gross because there were chickens in it. <laughs> this is Kyle's new car, by the way. He got a Ute. A Toyota Hilux, 2017. Fancy. It was actually one of the Toyota's own cars that they used so it's never actually had a proper owner so it's 2017 but it's pretty much brand new Ah, oh, Kai. You're fogging up the lens. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Jeb's gone. Yeah, I'm off the wrong side. 
Whoa, what's that? Wow. The roof has been raised. And so the roof is on like a very slight tilt going that way for drainage reasons. But let's go inside. Now, um, walls are not up or anything, but the roof is on, which was the hardest part. This gate is so hard to get into. But yeah, the roof is up, which it was the hardest part to do and needed the most people. Oh. <laughs> so we insulated the roof, except we ran out. <laughs> so we're gonna have to buy more to finish this off. The insulation will help regulate the temperature so it's never gonna be too hot or too cold in here. And it's also gonna reduce the amount of moisture. It won't get moist in here, which means my tack will not get moldy. Because a big issue with my current shed, obviously it's just an aluminium shed. So it doesn't have any insulation or anything like that. And on the really rainy days, it doesn't get wet inside, but because of all the moisture in the air, it still gets moisture in the actual shed and some of my tack does get moldy. So the thing with this one is to limit the possibility of that. So with the insulation, that that will really, really reduce that and it probably won't happen at all. Kyle, my boyfriend, is a carpenter, so he's really helped with all of this because he's done all, a lot of this and insulation and wall wraps and things like that. So his advice has really helped. Obviously, we haven't done the walls yet, but we have bought the wall wrap. But we'll have like the outside covering, which will be aluminium. Then we'll have the wall wrap and then I'll put something like this on the inside. This is getting replaced, by the way, because this is a mess. But um, yeah, and the wall wrap is a lot like the roof insulation. We will limit the moisture and regulate the temperature. And we've also decided to leave all this chicken wire along it because um, it goes right down to the ground. Um, obviously, it was put here to keep foxes out and stuff like that. But the reason we're keeping it is to keep rats out. So it goes right down to the ground, which is wonderful. Uh, we have also decided what we're doing with the walls a bit more originally we were planning on putting like we we're putting like some see-through parts for windows we have changed that because we decided due to the fact that we've raised the roof we fit and i like i would personally like having no windows because it means i can have more room to hang things and put things against so we've decided we are going to put the clear stuff all along here so everywhere where the roof was was raised what is that sound? Oh, it's a tractor. Sorry, we'll just wait for the tractor to go past. But yeah, so this part all up here is gonna be clear because it'll bring through sunlight from all directions and then everything else will be covered in. And I think that'll work really, really well because I'm not gonna have power here. So um, I'm not gonna have, obviously, electricity for lights and things. So that'll be good for during the day. That's all our updates. Um, the next thing we will be doing is finishing off the insulation and then we'll do the walls and then all of the main issues are done. And then we have the floor, which we will do next. There's quite a lot of talk about what we're doing with this, so I'm not going to say too much because we haven't fully decided on it. Exciting. I'm glad my tack shed is getting done sooner rather than later because I'm honestly getting so sick of my little aluminium shed. It's been great. It's just not big enough for me, unfortunately. And being where it is, it's near quite a lot of trees and it's also right next to the chickens, which means I get a lot of rats. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is in such a better spot because it's all open. There's not many trees around. I'm not near chickens or any other birds. So yeah, but I think I will end this one here for now. Starting of my tack shed and I'll see you guys in a couple days for a vlog.